Well, it was only a matter of time before we saw this headline, but I wouldn't go getting too excited if I was you. Hi, it's me again. And it made the news a lot, didn't it? Richard Sharp's appointment as chair of the BBC. Was it dodgy? Was it a boys club thing? Was he returning a favour, Boris, obviously, for setting him up with quite a large loan? Yeah, we don't know. And I don't think we ever will know. But we did see this headline now, which, to be fair, I was expecting. Have a look. BBC Chair Richard Sharp appointment to be reviewed by UK Commissioner and BBC Board to probe conflicts of interest amid Boris Johnson loan scandal. So that sounds promising, right? They're going to look into it. The UK Commissioner is going to look into it and the BBC Board is going to probe the conflicts of interest amid the scandal. That sounds promising, doesn't it? I wouldn't get too excited. You remember, like I said in the other video we talked about on this, it's a big club and we ain't in it. And all the people that work for the UK Commissioner and the BBC Board are in the club. So what do you think is going to come of this? Absolutely nothing. If it was dodgy, and we don't know, I certainly don't know, if it was dodgy, if he was gifted the job for helping him sort out the loan, if it was just a boys club thing, we'll never know the truth. And they ain't going to find out either, are they? All they're doing is the lip service that they have to do to appease the people who are uproared by it. And that'll be that. They'll just wait for it to disappear from the news. Something else big will come along and everyone will forget about this. That's what they're hoping for. But that said, the BBC did hope that would happen about the over 75s TV licence fee. And that's still going around in the news, isn't it? So it might not go away, but it will. UK Commissioner William Shawcross has confirmed that he will look into Sharp's hire, which was rubber stamped more than two years ago by the government. Shawcross said the review will ensure the process to hire Sharp was run in compliance with government rules. Well, the government get to appoint the chair of the BBC, and the government make the rules about how they appoint people as chair of the BBC. So that's that over then, isn't it? And a note to staff from Sharp said, The Nominations Committee of the BBC Board has responsibility for regularly reviewing board members' conflicts of interest, and I have agreed with the board's senior independent director, Sir Nicholas Sorota, that the committee shall assess this when it next meets, reporting to the board, and in the interest of transparency, publish the conclusions. Now he doesn't sound overly concerned. Doesn't sound overly concerned, does he? But you've got to remember here, the BBC is funded mostly by the television licence fee, which is enforced by a royal charter and the government. Why bite the hand that feeds it? Why bite the hand that feeds it? The people at the top of these organisations, especially the BBC, they're all intertwined with government, all over the shop. So, yeah, nothing will come of this and it will just get swept away. Maybe in a year or something, there'll be a little headline somewhere buried in the Daily Express that... You know, the committees found that no wrongdoing was done. And that will be that. Because, as I've said a million times before, it's a big club. It's a big boys club. And us common folk, we ain't in it. We didn't go to the right school. We didn't make the right connections. These people did. And they're reaping the rewards from it. And they get favours from each other. So that works. So I will keep an eye on it. I will keep an eye on it. But don't get your hopes up. Nothing's going to go. It's not going to be some big BBC scandal happening here. Be nice. I like a big BBC scandal, you know. Not some of the 70s entertainer ones. They were terribly sad. This one, this one would be terribly funny. But don't get your hopes up. But as I say, I will keep an eye on it. Let me know what you think will happen with all of this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon when I... Ta-da.